Okay, we are now going to discuss on how to find the center of gravity of composite shapes. Pag sinabing composite, it is made up of two or more shapes na pinagsama para makabuo ng isang shape. For example, pag sinabing composite materials, dalawang materiales na pinagsama para makabuo ng isang uh, material. For example, yung reinforced concrete is a composite material because uh, it is made up of concrete and uh, reinforcing bars. Therefore, composite material yun. Ito naman, composite shape, magkaibang element pinagsama-sama para makabuo ng isang element. Ano? Or magkakaibang shape pinagsama para makabuo ng isang buong shape. Ngayon, uh, we are going to apply Barignon's Principle. Yung Barignon's Theorem kasi hindi lang sa moment applicable yon pati sa pagkwenta ng bar X at bar Y. So, uh, kapag ka hindi naman na, uh, pagka naman na uh, hindi irregular yung shape, pwede naman tayong hindi mag-integrate using Barignon's Principle. Otherwise, kapag ka irregular yung shape, edi parehas lang nung gagawin natin nung nag integrate tayo sa moment of inertia. Okay, the best way to uh, explain it is to have a sample problem. Find the centroid of the shape below. Ito yung shape na ibinigay sa atin. Ano? Ito. So, ang uh, first natin gagawin dyan, magdodrawing tayo ng x and y axis at magkakaroon tayo ng origin. Let us try to do that. We draw this as our x axis and draw this line as our y-axis and this one being the origin okay. and the next uh, i ano natin to sa different uh, regular shape ano? let us divide it into different shapes for example this one and we cut it this one so magkakaroon tayo ng tatlong uh, dalawang rectangular shape at isang square sa gitna. We call this one as area 1 and nandito yung kanyang uh, nandito yung kanyang uh, center of gravity which is 5 meters from X and uh, that will be 2 ito from Y naman that will be 2, 6 and the 8 ano? 8 from Y and then yung area 2, ito yung area 2, ito naman yung kanyang uh, center of gravity, that will be 4 plus 2, 6 from x, and uh, 2 plus 2, 4 from y. Ito naman yung uh, area 3, at iyan yung kanyang uh, center of uh, gravity, which is 5 meters from from the origin sa x and then 1 meter from the origin sa y. Okay, ang formula ang gagamitin daw natin dito is bar x is equal to summation of uh, x times a or bar x na maliliit times a over the summation of uh, area over or the total area. Ganon din sa y. Let us try to solve the problem. Bar x is equal to x1 times a1. So, yung x1 from here to here times a1 plus x2 from here to here times a2 plus x3 times x3 over the total area. Therefore, solving muna natin yung total area. Kunin muna natin yung area nito. That will be 10 times 4. Ito yon. Tapos 4 times 4. Ito yon. Ito yung 4 times 4. And then 2 times 10. 
Ito yun. Mangyayari 40 plus 16 plus uh, 20 is equal to 76 square centimeters. O yan yung ating total area. So we are now ready to get bar x. Bar x will be o oh, edi itong area to 40 times yung bar x na mula dito 5. Ayun. Mula dito hanggang doon 5. Kasi 10 yan. 5 no. Gitna. Plus uh, 16. 4 times 4. Tapos ito naman ay 4. Tsaka kalahati nung 4. 2. 6 yun. 6 times 16. Ito mula dito hanggang dito. 6 times the area of this one. And then 20. Itong area ng 2 times 5. So, yan yung uh, lalabas na bar x natin and this will be in centimeters, ano? Hindi lang na ilagay. Now, that is how easy and how simple it is. Uh, hindi ko na sinolve yung y bar or bar y para magkaroon kayo ng practice. You sum up moments here. And then uh, you rotate it uh, along this one and then get the perpendicular distance, yung y bar. Ang lalabas niyan dapat ay 5.3157 centimeters for your practice. Just follow my lead on the x bar, ganun lang kasimple yun and this will be a challenge problem to you. Next here, uh, you've got a composite uh, composite shape. Okay, so if it's a regular shape, you can do uh, three things here. You can cut it here or you can cut it here. So, ito raw yung ating axis. Ano? Ito yung daw yung ating axis y at ito naman yung x. Nandito raw yung ating origin. Dito. Okay. Ang magiging sagot daw, bar x will be negative 3.478 at yung bar y ay 1.21739. Pwede mo rin naman siyang putulin somewhere here. Pwede mo siyang putulin dito. Yan, pwede yan. Pwede mo naman putulin dito kung saan ka mas madalian. Remember lang dyan na yung uh, location ng centroid ng triangle is one third from the base. No? Sa height ganun din. One third. Okay. I hope... Uh, Ganun lang talaga ka ito, uh, applying Varignon's theorem, pagkuha ng uh, centroid or center of gravity ng mga uh, composite shapes. So kapag ka naman regular, no need to integrate kapag ka irregular lang yung shape, tsaka tayo mag integrate And I guess by now, uh, I have already prepared you for some uh, problem solving on getting the centroid. Okay, we have completed our chapter which is static equilibrium and elasticity. Uh, we already discussed about uh, equilibrium of uh, rigid objects. We have discussed about the uh, concurrent forces and coplanar forces on trusses, the method of joints, method of sections. We also uh, discuss about the uh, finding the center of gravity for uh, composite shapes. And uh, we also discuss about elasticity, the Young's modulus, shear modulus, and bulk modulus. And I guess by now we already complete the uh, 
statics part of our uh, physics subject. With this, uh, thank you very much and may God bless us all.